My weird school. Fast facts. Pizza, peanut butter, and pickles. Written by Dan Gutman. Pictures by Jim Pilot. The beginning. Howdy, weirdos. My name is Professor AJ, and I love food. I know lots of stuff about food that other kids don't know. Like, did you know that the ice cream float was invented in 1912 when this guy named Bob was eating an ice cream cone next to his swimming pool? He took one step backward, and you're totally making that up, Arlo. Oh no! It's Andrea Young, that annoying girl in my class with curly brown hair. She calls me by my real name because she knows I don't like it. Who invited little Miss I Know Everything? You know perfectly well that we're supposed to work on this project together, Arlo. And you don't have to make up silly stories about food. The real facts are so interesting. It's true. Do you know that eating asparagus makes your pee smell? We're not going to discuss gross things here, Arlo. Remember, we talked about that. No toilet stuff. Okay, okay. I'll save it for the end when you're not paying attention anymore. You're no fun at all. This is going to be lots of fun, Arlo. We're going to tell the readers all kinds of cool stuff they don't know about food. I can tell them one thing right now: food is weird. Sincerely, Professor AJ, the Professor of Awesomeness. Andrea Young, future Harvard graduate. Chapter one. Stuff that's good for you. Okay, let's start with candy, cake, cookies, chocolate, and other yummy foods that start with C. Arlo, that stuff isn't good for you. We should cheat this project the same way we cheat a meal. You eat the main course before you have dessert. Let's start off by talking about the foods that are good for you. Like superfoods, for instance. Foods that give you superpowers? Cool. No, superfoods are foods full of nutrients and antioxidants. They help prevent cancer, heart disease, and other diseases. Blueberries, spinach, kale, cabbage, broccoli, salmon, and sardines are superfoods. Ugh. I don't like any of that stuff. There are lots of foods that are good for you, Arlo, like vegetables, for instance. No, you said the V word. I'm not going to eat stuff that grows out of the dirt. Weird stuff about veggies. The first food grown in space was potatoes. Some potato plants were taken up in the space shuttle Columbia in 1995. Let's talk about tomatoes. For a long time, tomatoes were thought to be poisonous. People in Europe and the American colonies wouldn't eat them. The fear lasted until the late 1800s, and it ended in part thanks to the sudden popularity of a dish coming out of Naples. Pizza with tomato sauce. You probably think tomatoes are a vegetable, but technically, they're a fruit. In 1893, the Supreme Court ruled that tomatoes could be taxed as veggies because they were used in regular meals, and they've been legally recognized as veggies since then. Tomatoes are ninety-four point five percent water, and cucumbers are ninety-five percent water. Let's talk about carrots. Did you ever hear that carrots help you see in the dark? Well, it's a myth. During World War II, the British didn't want the Germans to know about their advanced radar technology, so 
they spread the word that their pilots were successful in battle because they ate a lot of carrots and people bought it. Eating a lot of carrots can make your skin turn orange. Really, it's a medical condition called keratinemia. But don't worry, it's harmless. There's a World Carrot Museum, and anybody can go there. It's online. Speaking of food museums, there's a celery museum in Kalamazoo County, Michigan. By the way, in ancient Greece, the winners of athletic games were awarded a bouquet of flowers made out of celery. I think I'd rather get a medal. Those Greeks were weird. Do you know what they used to cheat toothaches? Asparagus. Asparagus really does make your pee smell. You can look it up yourself. Or you can just eat a bunch of asparagus, drink a lot of water, and wait fifteen minutes. President Thomas Jefferson loved broccoli, and he imported broccoli seeds from Italy to plant at his home. But President George H. W. Bush hated broccoli. It was a big story when he banned it from the White House. What's the number one most hated veggie? There's one that always seems to top the list: Brussels sprouts. In a 2008 survey by the Heinz Company, it was found to be the most hated vegetable in America. I bet they even hate it in Brussels. Do you know the difference between red peppers and green peppers? There is no difference. Red peppers are just green peppers that have been left on the vine to ripen. You couldn't get a BLT sandwich in America until 1494. At least that's when Christopher Columbus brought lettuce to the Americas, and it was another 400 years before somebody thought of adding bacon and a tomato. Speaking of lettuce, you should never store it with apples. They give off a gas called ethylene, which makes lettuce go bad much faster. Do you know why onions make us cry? Because they tell really sad stories. No, it's because when you chop one up, it releases a chemical called lacrimatory factor that irritates the sensory nerves in our eyes. But do you know how to prevent yourself from crying while you're chopping up an onion? Hold a slice of bread in your mouth. You look ridiculous, but it works. Popeye was a popular cartoon character who was famous for loving spinach. Whenever Popeye had to fight a bad guy, he would eat a can of spinach. Suddenly, his muscles would get big, and he'd start beating the bad guy up. During the 1930s, spinach sales zoomed because of Popeye. Weird stuff about fruit. Fruit is good for you too, Arlo. Let's talk about fruit. Okay, the durian is an Asian fruit that smells like rotting meat. It stinks so bad that it's banned from the Singapore chain system. Ever heard of Granny Smith apples? They were named after Maria Ann Sherwood Smith, an Australian woman who found them growing in her orchard in the 1860s. The Jamaican tangelo is a combination of grapefruit, orange, and tangerine. It's also called ugly fruit. Do you want to know why? Because it's ugly. Yes. Let's talk about bananas. If you ask me, bananas are the funniest fruit. They have a funny shape. They're spelled funny, and it sounds funny to say banana. Bananas are picked and shipped when they're green because the ripe yellow ones are too delicate. If you want to ripen a banana fast, put it in a bag with an apple or a tomato. Most of the bananas we eat are Cavendish bananas, and every single one is genetically the same. So a single fungus or disease could kill them all. It happened once before. Up until the 1950s, 
The most popular banana in the world was called the Gros Michel. That's when a disease wiped almost all of them out. When it's ripe, the black sapote, a fruit found in Mexico, tastes like chocolate pudding. The orange Yubari King Melon is the world's most expensive fruit. In 2016, two of them sold at auction in Japan for twenty-seven thousand dollars. Do you know what is the most popular fruit in the world? Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops don't even have a fruit in them. The fruit that's eaten in more countries than any other is mango. That was my next guess. When you buy an apple at the market, it could have been picked a year ago. Apples can be put in controlled atmosphere storage. So they sort of go to sleep until they're shipped to the markets. Oranges have a lot of vitamin C, but did you know that a kiwi half the size of an orange has just as much vitamin C? One kiwi is one hundred percent of your recommended daily value. Japanese farmers sometimes grow melons inside glass boxes, so they grow in the shape of a cube. That makes them easier to stack and store, but it also makes them nearly inedible because they have to be harvested before they're ripe. When is an orange not orange? When it's yellow or green? In Brazil, where they grow more oranges than any other country, oranges are sometimes different colors because of the high temperatures there. Cherry farmers rent helicopters to fly over their trees after a rain. This air dries the trees so that the cherries don't split open. Back in the eighteen forties, John Pegleg Webb dropped a batch of cranberries down the stairs and discovered that they bounced. And the higher they bounce, the better the berry. In fact, today cranberry farmers sort cranberries with a Bounce board separator. Apple trees grow apples, of course. Pear trees grow pears. But did you know there are fruit salad trees that grow as many as six different kinds of fruit on the same tree? Pineapples were very expensive in colonial times. American colonists wanted to make people think they were wealthy, so they'd rent a pineapple and carry it around at parties. That's just pathetic. Weird stuff about beans and nuts. Beans and nuts are good for you too. They have lots of protein. Arlo, do you know what legumes are? Sure, that's gum you put on your legs. No, dumb head. Legumes are peas and beans. In ancient Rome, four leading families took their names from legumes. Lentil, pea, chickpea, and fava. The Romans were weird, but the ancient Greeks were even weirder. They would elect some politicians by putting a white bean with a bunch of black beans in a bean machine. Whoever picked the white bean won the election. The ancient Greeks also thought hazelnuts could cure baldness. Let's talk about beans. Did you know that over seventy-one thousand people in the world have the last name Bean? Of course. Did you know that people in Vermont search for bean recipes online more than people in any other state? Everybody knows that. Did you know that newlyweds in Nicaragua are given a bowl of beans for good luck? Sure. But here's the ultimate bean fact. Are you sitting down? In 1986, Barry, Captain Beanie, Kirk, from England, sat in a bathtub full of cold baked beans for a hundred hours. That's just nuts. Let's talk about nuts. Two peanut farmers became president of the United States: Thomas Jefferson and Jimmy Carter. Mr. Klutz is nuts. Did you know that macadamia nuts are toxic to dogs? I did. Did you know it takes about five hundred forty peanuts to make a jar of peanut butter? And did you know why peanuts are called goobers? 
In the Congo, the word for peanuts is guba. I know all that stuff. Did you know that six towns in the United States are named Peanut? There are peanuts in California, Tennessee, and West Virginia, and three peanuts in Pennsylvania. Upper peanut, lower peanut, and let me guess, peanut. But did you know that peanuts aren't even nuts? Technically, they're legumes. Not with the legumes again. Okay, here's the nuttiest nut fact of all. In 1971, Alan Shepard, an astronaut on Apollo 14, brought a peanut with him to the moon. Why? Nobody knows. He also brought a golf club with him. That was weird. Miss Beard is weird.